Next, select the same PTOP operation that we previously selected. Again, go to the drilling, solid metal traditional drilling tab. Go back to general, select the number seven drill. Now with the number seven drill at 650 surface feet per minute, we'd be spinning at 12,000 RPM. And we're gonna make this part in a mini mill which has a top speed of 6,000 RPM. So that won't work, but let's go ahead. Uh, we'll look again at our common drill sizes, drill feeds and speeds chart here. Wrought aluminum alloys, 300 service feet per minute is appropriate. So let's go to 300 which is just under 6,000 RPM, so we're good to go there. And again, let's look. Our drill here is about a quarter of an inch in diameter. It's 0 0.20 something. So we'll go ahead and use the 0 0.009. 0 0.009. 0 0.009. Put that in here. And then, uh, We'll go to our drill tab. So instead of our drilling operation, we're gonna select a peck drilling operation. That will allow the tool to go into the hole and pull back out of it to, uh, to clear the chips. Our total depth, let's see, we're gonna turn off chamfer diameter, no on chamfer diameter. Our total depth, we want it to be through the part. We can select it by selecting the point at the bottom of the hole there, or we could remember that the part was 0.75 thick. Now, tip already included yes means that the drill will stop, um, assuming that the bottom of the drill is flat. We wanna say no, so that the bottom of the drill will end up protruding, protruding through the bottom of the part and it will clean that up. So we've got that selected. We'll go ahead and select OK. Let's simulate again to make sure that we've got everything right. And the drilled holes go all the way through. Now if you go back, hit stop, go to our drilling operation we just created. If we go back and say tip already included yes, say OK and run the simulation again, you'll see that the drill tip doesn't actually come all the way through the bottom of the part. So that's why we want to go ahead and say tip already included no, so that it will send the drill that extra bit of depth to account for the, uh, the angle of the tip. So that's how we create our peck drilling operation.